All right. <laughs> good morning. Uh, good afternoon. Good evening. It's tragic life here, and we're jumping into Final Fantasy IV af the after years. Uh, I'm looking forward to this. I don't know why, but I like the original Final Fantasy IV, and uh, the internet was weird. Um, so we have no idea what's going on. Um, so let's go find out. Don't mind me, I have my coffee with me. Long ago, this blue planet was saved by the prayers of an entire people. Two moons became one anew, and time inexorably marched on. The day of departure has arrived for the hair of their holy paladin. Did I hit something? I do. Oops. In the skies above the airship, two moons rise listlessly, one ominously growing even lar ever larger. Why? Has their dark harbinger returned? A new destiny has begun to unfold, and yet, as always, the crystal shed only their silent light. Okay, I'm going to talk through the music because I don't really need a. Uh... She had order to tell the last of the Red Wings. All right. I don't need a copyright, Mark. I already got one for one of these videos, but. It'll be all right. Uh, mm, delicious coffee. All right. All right, so what we got here? Two of them stand out, the rest look generic. Captain Big, the adamant owl is in sight. Very good. You don't look well, Prince Theodore. I can tell you're nervous about this. After all, it is your first appointment. Try ta talking with some of the other soldiers to take your mind off matters. I wonder if this is Cecil and Rosa's son. I, I get the feeling it probably is. <coughs> okay. Okay. We are currently on our way to Adamant Isle, a very small landmass in the middle of the ocean. It is the staging ground for your initiation trial be to be in becoming a knight, my lord. It goes without saying, of course, how overjoyed your father Cecil is to see you finally ta taken on this task. I knew it. Monsters don't play favorites. Royalty or peasants, they aren't picky about their prey. It's just as true for his Red Wings too, I suppose. You may be the Crown Prince of Baron, but it means nothing here on this ship. Your father, King Cecil, achieved knighthood by passing this trial himself. Did you know that he actually served as captain of the Red Wings before he became becoming king? We did. Uh, the Adamant Isle looks peaceful enough at first glance. I'll give you that. But there is this grotto there, a holy land of sorts. An all-night's trainees train there at least once. The Adamant Isle looks peaceful. Okay. Oops. Two minutes, I'm going to talk to you next. The Red Wings are the pride of the Baron. Are the most elite of our kingdom's forces. We may not be at war, but our training regiment is as fierce and grueling as always. All right. How are you feeling now, my lord? Better. I suppose so. Um... I can certainly understand what you're going through, my lord. But considering your bloodline, there's nothing for you to be worried about. My bloodline? Yes, my lord. You have inherited the blood of two great heroes. King Cecil the Paladin and Queen Rosa the White Mage. That doesn't mean anything. I am just another soldier being tested for knighthood. Don't kid yourself, boy. You're no soldier yet. You're nothing but a squire. Joining the Red Wings isn't the easy lark it was back in seeing Cecil's day. I know that. That's why I'm here today, too. What? For Prince Theodore. You got a lot to learn, boy. Starting with how to keep that mouth of yours shut. Okay. Ready to touch down on Adamant Island, Captain. Good, all hands landing stations. That was kind of mean. I get it, I guess. Uh, 
Uh, here's our stop, Seador, the adamant isle. You are to report to the village of Mithril up ahead and await further ahead. Orders got it, yes, sir. Can't you, can't hear you? Say it like you mean it, boy. Yes, sir. Understood, sir. Hmm. <laughs> sorry as ever before. Now move out. Well, okay, so we're going to go here first. Your mission in this trial is to obtain the knight's emblem housed deep inside the adamant isle grotto. But there is one condition, boy. You can't enter the grotto until the moon is at its fullest. You'd best get yourself ready before then, mentally and physically. Is there any reason why I have to wait for the full moon, sir? Ha! So you don't know about that either. This is going to be a long day, I'll tell you that. All right, so we got This is going to be a long day, I'll tell you that. The light from the moon casts its effect upon all the creatures over a blue planet. No monster can escape from its influence, and neither can you, Prince Theodore. Black magic, white magic, even physical attacks are all affected by the phase of the moon. But remember this, the moon cycles between phases with the passage of time, my lord. You will need to adjust your battle tactics with the current phase to survive out on the field. Yeah, that's what I'm reading. That's supposed to be the new thing. What happens during a full moon? Black magic becomes stronger, but physical attacks are half as powerful. White magic is unaffected. So our swords become a liability during a full moon. Not necessarily. Our attack power is half, but that applies to the monsters as well. What's more, my lord, you are gifted with white magic from Queen Rosa. If your tactics match the current moon phase, then you will never be at a true disadvantage in battle. Now then, perhaps we can stay at the end until the full moon arrives. Alright, let me get a sip of my coffee and read. All right. <clears throat> okay. Da, da, da. Can't, uh, so yeah, we're gonna have to learn about the faces. That's gonna be. Um, da, 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 da. Go to the right side of the city and position yourself as far down the wall. Uh, far down under the well. What? Go up to the right side of the city. Okay, position yourself <clears throat> as far down under the well as you can. You should be standing in shrubs. Ah, there's a tent. I see. Okay. Okay, so I gotta go to that well there. Oh, head edges. Got a potion. Cool, cool, cool. Right above the weapon shop. Okay. Do, do, do. And line up with the door to it. So right here. Okay. Ruby ring. Alright, give it to the orange guy. Is it you? Would you help our boss find his ring? So you? Hey, hey, this is my ring. You you actually found this for me. Thanks a bunch. Man, I feel like a new pig. Here's a little something for finding a ring. Go ahead and take it. Receive 500. Yo. So that ring actually protects you from pigs, so yeah. Um, but I decided to get the money for it. Alright, let's check our armor. See a door. Rod sword, there is a better sword in town. Uh, bronze shield, got that. Uh, bronze armor, check. Um, bronze helm, we don't have a bronze helm, so. Uh, let's go buy those two things. I should hopefully have enough. I might just barely have enough. I don't have enough. Oh, I do have enough, sorry. All right, so bronze helm. Should leave me five or fifty. Perfect. It's like they knew. Okay, and the long sword. <clears throat> so let's see. Oh, jumps me by ten. I'll take it. And up by three. Okay. <clears throat> Ugh. Okay. 
gonna go ahead and go to the inn and say the night. Get the story moving. Yes. Okay, so we have a full moon. Good to know. Okay. Captain Biggs is waiting for you at the grotto. Please hurry. All right. Late even to your own mission. Man, what a worthless squire they stuck me with. We're about to begin our journey into the Adamant Isle Grotto. Now, not to repeat myself, but your orders are to obtain the Knight's Emblem. If you want to cut and run like the spoiled little prince you are, now's the time. He really doesn't like us, does he? Oh, did that hurt, boy? Well, quit plowing and go get your provision from these chests. Okay. <sighs> Ocean tent either and a phoenix down. Okay. Um Finally found some resolve in you, huh boy? Get on with it then. Alright. So Biggs and Weds join you. Um so that's cool. You won't be hundred percent below. Oh. <laughs> Okay, so you could have saved money. I wish I would have read this earlier. Um, by coming in here and taking his. You could have taken his long sword and his bronze helm. Yep. I'm just going to take his iron gloves because he's much stronger than us. Uh, yeah. Alright. Mm. <clears throat> All right, I'll talk to the guy. Are you a... You're the one after the Knight's Emblem, aren't you? Well, keep your guard up in there. Okay. Apparently this place is pretty linear. Uh, uh, Here we go, Sandor. Ah, we gotta fight. Ah, goblins. Oh, shoot. I didn't see what he said. Uh, take a look at the commands. Physical attacks have been weakened by half. Do you see the color of your commands change to reflect the effect of the moon? Commands strengthened by the moon phases are displayed in green, while commands weakened are displayed in red. Make sure to pay attention to these colors during battle. They could have a major impact on the outcome of the fight. I mean, that's kind of cool. I don't think it matters with these guys. But that's, that's good to know. All right. Theodore gained a level. All right. <clears throat> okay. A lot going on on my phone right now. Next, I'll tell you about band moves. A band is a type of powerful multi-person technique. You cannot perform a band with someone unless you have some kind of bond with that person. Deep bonds. Yes, my lord. Allow myself and Captain Biggs to demonstrate. First, you must choose who you want to band with. Next, you choose the command your partner should execute. For this demonstration, Captain Biggs is my partner and he will select attack, setting off the band. What if Captain Biggs chooses something besides attack? Then the band would fail before it even began. Are you ready? Watch. When it's my turn, we'll press the right button to display the band button. Once you choose band, you'll have to select a partner. In this case, that would be Captain Biggs. After that, once Captain Biggs turns up, comes up, select attack. With that, everything is set. All that remains is to press square and execute the band itself. Let's give it a try. Okay. Okay, that's kind of a cool concept. Got it. What boy? Was it too fast for you to see? No. Successful bands will be recorded in your list of band moves. After that, you can execute the band at any time by choosing its name from the band list. Bands consume MP from every party member in Baldwin, but don't get cocky and blow all your MP at once. All right. <clears throat> okay. 
get the potion. So let's see, how do I look at bands? Okay. Um, and we'll play with it. Like, uh, apparently bands are really important in this game, which makes sense. Um, okay, so we want to go up here. There should be a chest or a tent. All right. Ooh, larva. Skidor gained a level. All right. <clears throat> Either. Okay. Skidor gained another level. Cool. So we're getting levels left and right. All right. Adamant Isle Grub. Oh, by the way, that was um, three of the larva. Okay, Theodore, it's all yours from here. Don't worry, Prince Theodore. Remember, you have the blood of King Cecil, and that has nothing to do with it, Prince Theodore. Looks like you've got at least half a backbone in you. Get back here alive or forget about making the Red Wings. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, Big and Wedge have left the party, <clears throat> so we're all by ourselves now, which is okay. <clears throat> okay. Uh-oh. All right. That was four goblins. Ah, oh, we got Libra and a tent. So you have to be careful here. This is our save point. This specially protected zone allows you to pitch tents, rest in cottage, save your progress. Uh, sleep in a tent will change things. Um, we're going to go ahead and do that because I like my physical attacks at the moment, I think. Um, no, but I will go ahead. Yeah. Uh, no, let's not do it. We'll just heal ourselves. And then we'll use an either to cover. All right. All right, let's keep going forward. <clears throat> what? That's left, buddy. It said it hit right. Okay. Ah, right. We got a new bad guy. Sword Rat. I mean, it's not new. We fought them in the original Final Fantasy IV, but the first time we've seen them here. All right. I might do two videos. So if I, you would have used the tent, you would have moved it to a waning uh, moon, which the physical attack goes up and the uh, magic goes down. Got another level. We're level going up every round. Uh, we got a bomb fragment. And I drops. All right, that was two princes, or two goblins and two uh, of the porcupine thingies. And <laughs> we gained another level, jeez. Um, I went. All right, that was four goblins. Gobble, gobble. All right, so I think we're just supposed to go this way. Yep. Okay. I see you. Should be a bronze hourglass. Cool. Ah. <clears throat> that was four larvae. Larva, larvae. Tent. Let's level up. Oh, we did level up that time. Okay. We're going to go all the way down. Uh, there's another four larvae. Last one's larvae too. Just had them. All right, Antarctica win. That was also for lar for larvae. Should be echo herbs. Good. 
Uh, goblins and two of the sword rats. Okay. We got iron gloves. Wait, wait. Didn't I steal those? Dang it. Well, I guess I got something to sell. <sighs> oh, it's four larvae. Okay. Okay. Another place where we can do the saving. Um, I mean, we're level 10 already. Man, we are leveling up really quickly. Okay. I'm going to use this either because why not? All right. <clears throat> Knight's Emblem. Yeah, you know it wasn't going to be that easy. So there's not much here. You just get attack him. Just... Then just keep an eye. And, uh... Eventually he'll cast... Whirlwind, which will hurt. I should have slept at the can and got the waning moon, it says. Wish it would have told me that earlier. Does it say how much life he has? It does not. Probably going to need a heal soon. Yeah, I'm gonna take one more hit and then I'm gonna heal. Hey, he's gonna hit me. He's slow attacker, that's good. Oh! <clears throat> Prince Ciro, are you hurt? Stay back, please. Hmm. This is this is my battle to fight. You don't have to push yourself so hard. My father and my mother have nothing to do with this. I, I... <clears throat> I'll get through this by myself. Theodore's Latin potential awakens. Awaken. <clears throat> All right, so hold on, let me pause. <clears throat> I don't know what's going on with my throat right now, but okay. Um, da -da 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 -da, uh, which will boost his attack. It's pretty useless in normal battles, considering how long it takes to activate. Um, it has. It really only has a use in boss battles. Uh, anyway, proceed to mash the sandworm. You should be doing quite a bit more damage now, maybe even triple digits. The sandworm will try to use the whirlwind again, but it'll miss. Either way, attack again, you should beat us soon. Alright, so, alright. That's not triple digits. Well, he's dead. Okay, well, we gained a level, of course we did. Obtain nice emblem. Oh, excuse me, I'm so sorry. All right, we're almost done with this video. Okay, Theodore learned to waken. And collapsed. From Theodore. Wedge. Kira. Thank you very much. Sorry about that. I knew you could do it, Prince Theodore. You have amazing powers hidden inside you. Huh? Now you're a full-fledged knight, my lord. We're leaving. Our work here is done. Biggs and Wes have joined the party. All right. Uh, so this is where I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys.
Um, hmm, not sure about this game yet. We'll see. Uh, it's kind of cool to be playing as a different character. Uh, the son of the characters. Oh. Until next time. Adios, amigos.